Welcome back, YouTube family. For this project, we're going to need two of these Crafter Square cork board sheets, a Crafter Square magnetic board, we're going to need a dry erase board, and a chalkboard. Now, all of these items come from the Dollar Tree, except for the Gorilla glue sticks. Uh, you're going to need some ribbon. I picked these up on an after Christmas clearance from Walmart. I think I paid like 50 cents. And then you're gonna need something to hang it um, and some magnets for the magnetic board. And then I use this silicone mask applicator to kind of help with the hot glue and a piece of poster board or foam board. I'm using the foam board scrap that I had on hand. You're going to start by taking the frame off of the magnetic board and then you're going to take a uh, box cutter and we're going to use that to not only open the dry erase board and the cork board or the chalk board but we're going to use those to score them so that they are the same width um, as the uh, magnetic board. Oh, lost for words today, guys. So I'm just going to line it up to see how I'm going to have to cut the boards for um, to fit the width of the magnetic board. There is a cardboard piece on the back of the magnetic board, which... You'll see later in the video, I do decide to remove um, just so that everything's even to the front of the project today. Well, I guess I can quit calling it a project. What we're going to be doing is making a, uh, just like a school days organizer where we're gonna have the chalkboard, a dry erase board, um, cork board, and a place that we can stick uh, notes to magnetic board. So just scoring the dry erase board a couple of times and trying to bend it. You can pretty much just cut right through this. Um, these dry erase boards are really thick. So it took a little bit and I'm going to do it to both sides and that will cut off that round edge so that you have a nice square edge so that it will fit together nicely with the magnetic board and to the bottom or to the top part of the um, cork board. So I'm gonna do that to the sides and then I'm gonna go in and just cut off this handle. Um, not gonna lie, the chalkboard is a little bit harder to cut through, so I cut out a lot of the sizing it down by scoring it for the chalkboard. It took a little bit and I ended up um, having to like, <clears throat> excuse me, having to like break off the sides of the chalkboard, but I just, continue to score it probably twice the amount of scores just to get it to break off. It's a really good quality little chalkboard there. Now we're going to line up the dry erase board, the magnetic board, and the chalkboard because I need to find out where they're going to be placed so that it's center with the corkboard sheets. And all I do is take my corkboard sheets out of the packaging and then I set them down at the bottom and I allow them to overlap because I want the outside edges to line up with the chalkboard and the dry erase board. So then I'm going to find center of the magnetic board. Once I figure out where the center is, I'm going to take a pencil and mark it. It will just erase off a lot easier than using a uh, Sharpie. Um, you could also use a dry erase marker, but that also will wipe off too easy, so I chose to use a pencil. Then I'm going to mark my cork boards. I'm going to draw the line down, 
And the nice thing about this is it worked out to where I was cutting equal amounts of cork board off of each sheet. So I just stacked them and cut them all in one cut. So then I'm going to place my cork board sheets and you can't see it on this one, but what I do is I pull back about a two inch section so that I can line it up with the edge of my uh, foam board. I stick it down and as I pull the backing off, I just press my cork board right to my poster board. And here you'll be able to see this one a little bit better. I'm still working on my camera positioning, so it's, um, I don't know if it's getting better or not. Let me know in the comment section below. And while we're on commenting, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to be cho choose in the drop down menu of the bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Now here's where I decided that, that cardboard piece on the back of the magnetic board just has to go. It's way too thick and it sticks up above the cork boards sheets way too much. So with my Cricut spatula, I just scrape that cardboard right off. There's no bends in the metal, it came off really easy. And then I line it up to make sure. And then I realize by taking off the cardboard, my chalkboard and my dry erase board are now thicker than the, um, the metal and the cork. So after I glue down the metal um, magnetic board, and I want to make sure that those corners are glued down because you never know, they may curl up. This is Dollar Tree items. Um, they're not the best quality, but they're a nice quality for crafting. So, and I'm not worried about that little glue spot on the bottom corner there. Once it cools down, I should be able to just rub it right off of the metal. So then I'm going to go in and around my metal and my cork board, I'm just going to cut the foam board out because I thought that that would be the about the thickness of the chalkboard and the dry erase board, which now I'm seeing it is still not that thick. So I'm flipping them around <clears throat> and to fill the space that I'm going to need to fill so that they're even and they won't like tilt in the corners, I'm coming in with some popsicle sticks that I'm just going to hot glue all over the back of the dry erase board and the chalkboard. This actually comes out really, really nice. Um, my daughter loves it. In fact, when I make some embellishments for this board, you will notice in the final reveal, one of the magnets is missing. Comment in the comment section when you notice what embellishment is missing. I thought it was kind of funny. I came down to my craft room so that I could put it up and um, do my final reveal video and I could not find one of the embellishments anywhere. So if you watch this all the way to the end in the comment section, leave what embellishment is missing from the video that I made for this board. I thought it was kind of funny. So once I'm done gluing the popsicle sticks on, I go with the, the larger, almost, they're larger than a tongue depressor popsicle stick so that it's adhered well to the back of the cork and the metal. Then I come in with, <clears throat> excuse me, my ribbon and I hot glue that down all the way around and you don't see it. I had to cut out some of my video, but I, that is where I use my um, silicone um, mask applicator that I also got from the Dollar Tree. It just helps with 
putting it down in a straight line and not burning my little fingers. So then I take my ribbon to hang it, which I ended up not even hanging it with this ribbon cord. I guess it's more of a cord than a ribbon. And I tie it in a knot, putting a little dab of glue inside the knot so that it doesn't come unraveled. And now I'm trying to figure out the position of the cord ribbon and I'm going to glue that down there. All right, now it's time for the embellishments. Pay very close attention. One does not make it to the final reveal. <laughs> so all I do here is I take my Dollar Tree magnets and I leave it on the little piece of metal round that comes with the magnets. I add a dot of hot glue and I add my Dollar Tree stones on and a little flower from a previous project, a little rose. And that's it. And here it is, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And don't forget, click that like and subscribe button. And I will see you back here in the next video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.